Pretty simple one for you today, but I'm finally moving on something that I've been talking about for a while here on the channel. We're gonna upgrade the networking. Ubiquity stuff will be on its way shortly. And one of the things that I want to accomplish with that is much higher speed local network access to my NAS. This is a Synology DS1821 Plus, and to accomplish that, we're gonna be moving from one gig up to some 2.5G local networking speeds, but we're also gonna do some 10G networking. So I have here uh, a dual port 10G network card. This is a Connect X3 Pro, purchased fairly inexpensively off of eBay. Hope I don't have any trouble with it based on that. But we're gonna go ahead in this video and install this in the DS1821 Plus. Just gonna do the hardware install right now, getting ready. Uh, we will be wiring, configuring, and all of that in a series of content to come all about a higher speed and more uniform and much more broader and functional networking here in the Techthusiasm household. So I've already shut it off, that's step one. So I'm gonna yank it out and let's put this card in there. Try and get a good view going here. Basically step one, we gotta pull some screws out. The whole top chassis, uh, external chassis of the NAS is gonna basically pull off the top. We have one, two, three, four, five, six screws to take out. have the handy magnetic tipped screwdriver here. Don't lose any of these little itty bitty screws. They're very shallow screws. We will install this card. Try this smaller tip here. There we go. And we didn't want to thread. Uh, we will be installing this on the right hand side. There's one expansion slot in the DS1821 Plus. I have, uh, not that long ago, already started to upgrade this NAS in a few respects. I did add an SSD cache drive in there and we did uh, increase the RAM as well. So we see that lifts off nice and easy. Set it over here to the side and we're going to drop this card uh, right in that slot there. We got one screw to take out here, the stabilizer screw. And then we should pop this right up, pull. The guard rail, uh, pull the guard rail out, and then we can slide this right in there. simple push this down and then invert yeah reverse the screw operations that we did to get this far Put that right in there nice and stable put the lid back on there we are just got to get it all lined up set this aside and put these screws back in Like we weren't getting a straight uh, set there, but I think we're fine. And be careful with these little screws. I think they feel like they would strip very easily if I wasn't uh, as careful as I can be. I don't need them super tight, just enough to hold snug. in on the sides when we snug in those last two screws here at the bottom. Anybody else's eyesight out there? <laughs> Getting old, hard to see small things and black on black. Boom, there we are. <laughs> Final step, turn it back on. 
boom. Super simple, stay tuned for the channel as we finally get the rest of the network stuff going. We go through hardware configuration testing, uh, performance testing and all that, and we actually get this thing running at 10G here to come with all the cool ubiquity stuff. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, lots of ways to do that down in the description. If you're looking for some awesome home theater gear, reach out, I can help you with that. Otherwise, if you would, like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the video, leave a comment. Do you have a Synology? Are you powering it up with some extra hardware? Let me know, sound off, let's discuss. Thanks for watching, come on back for more home theater discussion and fun.